the point of impact, where physics carry the moment and only the car's safety devices can prevent serious injury or death. Many lives have been saved in crashes due to technology developed in the Air Force Research Laboratory. The rocket sled of Holloman Air Force Base was the dangerous test environment of Colonel John Stapp. In the early 1950s, he was tasked to test human tolerance to deceleration in an effort to develop protective technologies from crash forces. His sled accelerated for nearly a quarter mile to attain aircraft speeds. Stapp then was subjected to aircraft crash deceleration energy. Metal scoops beneath the sled plowed into a trough of water for braking. In 1954, Colonel Stapp rode his sled, the Sonic Wind, at 632 miles per hour. Upon the sled's rapid braking, he came to a dead stop in 1.4 seconds. This exposed him to more than 40 times the pull of gravity, proving that wind blast and deceleration from ejection at high speeds could be survived. Time magazine called him the fastest man on Earth and number one hero of the Air Force. While testing at Holloman Air Force Base, Colonel Stapp noted that the Air Force lost nearly as many men in fatal auto accidents as in plane crashes. So he began a car crash study program. He put test dummies into salvaged autos and projected them into wood and concrete barriers. He also used human volunteers in his rocket sled to test safety belts up to 28 Gs, or 4,800 pounds of force. In the mid-50s, an average of over 50,000 Americans were dying in auto accidents each year. Colonel Stapp's research changed that. Colonel Stapp convened the first independent conference dedicated to auto safety. The focus was not on preventing the crash, but on preventing death and catastrophic injury when the crash occurs. Doctors, engineers, and scientists from all over the country assembled at Holloman to witness crash demonstrations and to inspect Stapp's latest restraint system designs. He made the case for seatbelts and later for airbags as standard equipment in all American cars and trucks. Colonel Stapp achieved his major goal in the summer of 1966, when he and Ralph Nader stood in the White House Rose Garden alongside President Lyndon Johnson as the President signed into law the National Traffic and Motor Vehicle Safety Act. This led to the establishment of the Department of Transportation and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Stapp was appointed NHTSA's chief medical scientist and immediately set about writing the inaugural set of federal auto safety mandates. Two years later, seat belts were standard equipment in American cars, and traffic fatalities began to fall. With airbags, seat belts, and crushable bumpers, it is now possible to survive even a head-on collision at highway speed. Many today have walked away from crashes that would have been fatal without the safety features pioneered by Colonel Stapp and his team of Air Force researchers. Yeah.